Hey, what's up, you guys? So, um, this is a quick update. Our, uh, my updates are very short because um, there isn't too much going on, but I just wanted to update and say that I did have a normal period. It was seven days, but, you know, the little bit that's left uh, as far as bleeding-wise, they came out on the eighth day. I'm going to switch hands real quick. Uh, came out on the eighth day. So, I did have a normal period, and I'm hoping, praying that I ovulate now this is the thing is that I don't know if my cycle is 24 days or 30 or 26 I don't know so um when I put it in my phone just say I put it in my phone that I have a 28 day cycle it says that I'm ovulating well I haven't ovulated yet but I'm in the week of which I'm going to ovulate so I really don't know um as far as when I'm ovulating and things like that but what I'm doing is I'm not actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm not actually trying, but I've decided to not actively do things right now. Like I'm done, I'm, I stopped taking my temperature. Um, I'm just hoping that um, in the next, what is it, like 14 days, I guess, 14 days after your cycle, you get another cycle. So I'm hoping, so it would be this week that I will be ovulating. So that makes sense. So I'm hoping that in the next 14 days, uh, from the end of my period that I actually have a period which means that I had a normal cycle and like I said last time that's actually how we had ended up getting pregnant with Madison was that we had we had one normal cycle and this is what he's telling me because I can't really remember exactly but I think that's how it was I had one normal cycle got pregnant with her and so I'm hoping that around what is this September, this is his birthday month, so September, I'm hoping around October I can get pregnant, but if not, that means that December or January, if we have, if we get pregnant in December, it's going to be on my birthday, or if we get pregnant in January, it'll be on his birthday, so I'm just hoping that everything works out with that, like I said, I'm being inactive as far as trying to actually um, get pregnant, I'm not going to take tea anymore, I'm not going to do my temperature, I'm not doing anything because I think that might have been what messed me up before when I was trying to get pregnant and um, after the depot, if I think, i am be honest, I think that if I would have left it alone, I would have had a normal period, a normal ovulation afterwards, but I was taking Vitex and things like that and um, it might have like adjusted because Vitex and things like that is supposed to normally uh, re put, our, put your hormones back to where it's supposed to be, but it could have... It, my hormones could have been going back to where it's supposed to be because I only had one shot, so it wouldn't have really stuck to me. So, um, the fact that I was taking Vitex and everything could have been like, okay, your hormones going back down to normal. Vitex get in there and it's like, well, it can't, it can't throw you off balance, so it possibly could have thrown me off balance. But again, like I said, I'm hoping, of course, you know, I'm gonna get on here and be like, guess what, you guys, I'm pregnant. And that's even if it's a chemical or if I have a miscarriage, I'm taking you along this whole journey with me, and that includes after words of me doing videos with the baby and things like that and just talking to y'all about how it feels to be pregnant after depo slash after um having a stillborn child so um thank y'all for watching please keep me updated y'all been keeping me updated shout out to the two people that has told me that they've gotten pregnant i am happy for y'all give me an update let me know if it goes full term or different things like that you know just you know be you know because there's other people other than me too that wants to know like what's going on so congratulations to you guys sprinkle extra baby dust to make sure it's real healthy and things like that but thank y'all for watching peace and baby dust